storm after storm, we're pushing north along America's east coast, and we're taking you along for the ride. Welcome to Lazy Gecko Sailing. I'm Brittany, and this is Jeremiah. I came from the mud. We've been sailing the world and filming it all for you. Strong like a tree. Now come along with us on our next adventure. Make sure to click subscribe so you don't miss any of the fun. Hope they won't shoot me down soon. What do you think of that thing? Oh my gosh! It looks it looks like a tornado! I know. That thing is wild. That can go it's going the other way, thankfully. Oh man. What are the winds coming off of it? Uh, they got up to like 25. We just kind of went around the side of it. We're a little lucked out. Yeah, we really lucked out. It's like all about timing. If it's moving yeah. this way, we're going that way. Yeah. Yesterday wasn't uh, so lucky. No. That was crazy, but you know, it's we're going to a different part of the world. Gonna, the weather is going to be different. Yeah. We gotta adjust accordingly. Yeah. It could be worse. Now the winds are coming from it, and they're only at 18, 17. We're going down, and we are motoring up the ICW, about to make another turn, and we're almost at our anchorage. Yay! What do you want for dinner? I was thinking of throwing some. Pizza. On the grocery boy. That'd be cool. I'm gonna do a little vegetable pasta dish for myself. That'd be nice. Yeah. You guys love your pizza. Yeah. And the oven's broken, but we can use the grill. The anchorage was lovely. Weather seems to break up around sunset, and we've been treated with some gorgeous views along the way. It was time to snuggle in for the night. We've got a ton of bridges to get through in Northern Virginia, starting with the Great Bridge. Right after the Great Bridge, while heading north, you come into the Great Bridge Lock a fun little lock where you get raised or lowered a bit before heading on. You slap a sticker on? Go for Slapping it. Slapping a sticker on. Where should we do it? Uh, wherever you can reach. Don't fall in now. Thanks, me. Nice. Yeah. Oh, got it. Nice. That was my morning stretch. It's shutting us in. So basically you just have you tie up to the wall here. Two lines, four and a half, no fenders. And then um, close you in and lower you or raise you depending on the tide on the other side. Easier than uh, docking on your own. Yeah, you we just... did bang the wall, but yeah. That's not my, that's the driver's issue. We, we bumped into that. But that's why they have that rubber. You know, the, the reviews I'll talk about the rubber side, the port side, the other side is cement. And sometimes if it's real crowded in here, you gotta go over there and you can get your boat damaged over there. Yeah, so what do you wanna take off first when we... Um... Oh, we'll probably take the, the bow off. The bow off first. Yeah. We put the stern line on first um, because our stern thruster is not working right now, so he was able to come in kinda hot, swing the stern, and I threw the stern on, and then he was able to thrust the bow over, and I just kinda threw it and looped it. Like I was lassoing a cleat. There you go. I'm not a good lassoer, but it takes practice. And then I guess when we leave, we'll kind of do the... Opposite. Yeah.
calm down before you stress up the groove The energy a little different when the blessings accrue Hey, who you talking to? Just know I ain't no regular fool Could be anything in the world, but I can never be you because I That was easy. Pushing north along the ICW takes a bit more time due to bridges, locks, and traffic. But it can be entertaining. For now, we're out of the lock and back on the move. With my kid folk daily and I'm the type of that might change my number on you. Yeah, that's how you react when people took the slumber on you. Pretty brown skin baby. So much for that. How about an unexpected delay? This train bridge was down with no trains in sight, nor a time frame of when it'll raise again. Well, life has nearly killed me and my mind is putting me on the edge. Instead of getting pushed into it by the current, We'll just motor around in circles while we wait. Life has nearly killed me and my mind has put me on the edge. This was about a two hour delay. The bridge operator didn't want to race the bridge again until a second train came through. There's not much you can do about it besides wait. These bridges are gnarly. Yeah man, look at yeah, F-18s flying over and everything. This place is Full on all military. You feel like you're uh, back home again? You know, it smells like Virginia because it's, uh, you can smell the grass. So it smells like Virginia. It smells like home. It smells like Virginia. Looks like Virginia. Does it taste like Virginia? Well, we get some Maryland blue crab. That'd be good. Oh, Catch it man. ourselves. Yeah. I gotta put some wow. sunscreen on before I go out here. And now it's 143 feet. 144 feet. Jeez. These bridges are left. Oh, the big Basco bridges are crazy, too. Not worried about touching with that. No, I think we'll clear it. Where are we headed? Portsmouth, Virginia? Yeah. Right across from Norfolk. And uh, we're going to go explore this little town. You know, we're always going, you know? So. Now that we've gotten above the 36th parallel, which is what our insurance asked us to do, after we said we want to go north, they said, well, if you get above the 36th, uh, you will give you a big refund. So we said, yeah. So we're above it. We can pretty much duck into anywhere. So I think it's a good time for us to stop going so much and just enjoy somewhere. And Portsmouth's supposed to be beautiful, right, from what you read. Yeah, it's a cute little town. You can walk around, explore. Yeah, that's I'll cool. be able to get some fresh groceries and then we'll continue on down the Chesapeake. Up. Up, sorry. Continue on up. Wow, industrial for sure. How's your pill assortment? It's great. So um, you're just going through them? Yeah, about every six months I go through all of our medications over the counter and then prescribe medications. Not that we take these medications, um, but I'll go through them and check the expiration dates, get rid of them, take notes of what we need. And so what I do is every time we're in the United States or once a year if we go back to see family or whatnot, I will go to our doctor and I'll say, hey, you know, he knows our deal. We're sailing. I want to make sure we're stocked for anything that could happen if we couldn't get to a doctor. And he stocks us up with amoxicillin for each of us. Um, something if we were to get infected eyes, like pink eyes, skin infections. He stocks us up uh, drowsiness, gives me my patches for my ears. So that's a great job. And, I, you know, it's nice knowing that if something goes wrong, you can handle it on the boat without having to wait until you can find a safe harbor to go into and a doctor to see and so on. So I like it. We've never had to use them yeah. yet. So that's the thing. <laughs> but you know, it's all good. Yeah. I hate saying stuff like that. And then um, over the counter stuff, I'll just go to a pharmacy and grab it. Like sea sickness stuff, simple things, cortisone creams, whatever. Well, let me um, check autopilot. Just want to make sure we're still on the track here. Yeah, we're good. Go two degrees to port. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so I just go through and we have a lot to get rid of this time around and that's fine. Probably make a doctor's appointment for all of us before we 
head back out on a passage. That'll be in a couple months and all will be well. Yeah. Well, it's easier now that we're going to be in the States because you can just go to the doctor. Yeah. We don't have to carry uh, so much on board. Yeah. Um, sometimes I'll keep them like a month or two past the expiration date if we're going on like a passage. But even if something came up, we're the type that probably wouldn't use it unless it's like life or death. Yeah. Um, another, a really good one that's still good is EpiPen. So because Reese and I have allergies, uh, we were able to get our EpiPens covered by insurance. So that's a big one. And they were only like 20 bucks for us. But Well, another great thing that we just were able to get on the boat was a uh, defibrillator. Are you learning? We got our infant child key. We bought a defibrillator recently. I don't know if we've talked about it at all yet, but um, I have AFib and then... You know, there's all kinds of old people around out here and people, you're way out in the middle of nowhere and you never know when you might need something like this. So, you know, when we're way offshore, like when we were uh, sailing from Grenada to here, you know, you're days and days away from land. And, um, then, you know, I, I've actually seen somebody go missing and the countries argue who's going to go get them. I don't know if everybody went to get them. Anybody. Did yeah. anybody go? I don't, I, don't know. I don't know. Yeah, so sometimes you're on your own. So we went ahead and... Bought a defibrillator for the boat, and when we got it, realized it didn't have the infant key. So this is like a hundred dollars more or something like that. I know. But it's basically a key that you turn like this, and you put it in the little slot here, and the machine now will go for a kid under 55 pounds, zero to eight years old. So you just boop. Yeah, and obviously different instructions right there where you put the pads. Yeah, so this thing lights up and it tells you, it talks to you, and it goes through the whole process. Pretty cool. And I also got some extra pads because these are like, I think they're like one time, one, one time use. So I'm just going to put this in here and I'll put this like that for right now. That's cool. So we got our infant key. Love it. Why don't we not go like that? I don't know. Yeah, so that goes along with medical too. We have a good stockpile when it comes to medical. We yeah. really take care of it in that aspect. And it's not only good for us, but somebody else that might need something in a life or death situation. Yep. Coming up on the Lazy Geckos. We're gonna do a little Q&A, which Brittany has a list of questions. You're getting an A for effort. Well, today's the big day. I'm excited to get to the boat today and move on. Wildwood, New Jersey boardwalk. Not that it's fixed, but we have tried. It smells like throw up. I have an hour left on my watch. I'm passing by Calypso, North Carolina. I know it's bad, but you have your friend emailing you. Are you guys okay? Here we go. Good luck on your first cruising adventure. Ah, thank you. Bluebirds. Got an Uber to get some groceries and we saw this cute little bar to stop at. Here's your coffee. Thank you, baby. Are you ready for this? <laughs> no. <laughs> We're passing Billy Joel's estate. If it lets loose, it's going to probably plummet into our boat. They were under the bow already. VHF antenna firmly mounted. Oh, you're right in front of us, it's gone. Don't take me back! You can't take me back! I'm gonna turn north and probably put out a, the head tail. Have a good time with it. Uh, put your butt. Put it right under your butt. Lucky day to come back into New York. What do you think? About what? About you under some naked shots? Lovely. Want more? Check us out at lazygeckos.net. Remember, patrons can get complimentary access. You can also visit our Vimeo channel. The link is below. Don't forget to click subscribe to get all of the fun. See you next week.